from the Sabutio style surroundings of Twerton Park, this tie has moved to the more stylish setting of Anfield, which makes it a significant night for the Bristol Rovers goalkeeper Brian Parkin, who was born at nearby Birkenhead and supported Liverpool as a boy. He's part of a Rovers team unchanged from the first game. Their scorer then, number 10, Carl Saunders, got two more against Sunderland on Saturday. And number four, Steve Yates, the Rovers captain, was rested from that match because after tonight, he goes into hospital for a groin operation. Well, injuries are something that Liverpool have suffered on an unprecedented scale this season. But Steve Nicholl is back at number four. He'll start alongside Mark Wright. Number nine, Ronnie Rosenthal, will play up front with Dean Saunders. And on the substitutes bench, after three months out of first team action, is Ian Rush. Bristol Rovers say they could have uh, got rid of about 25,000 tickets had they uh, been made available to them. I think that might be a bit optimistic, but certainly uh, not everybody that wanted to travel could do so. And they forced a corner in front of the 7,000 who are here. There's White, ooh, and Grobelaar was in the right place as he was so often last week. Everything that Bristol Rovers struck seemed to go straight to him at uh, Twerton Park. Big Devon White gets up, and it may have come off Mark Wright. Skinner, touched back to him by uh, White. Not a bad effort either. Got a touch on it, so it's going to be a corner. Justin Skinner. Bristol Rovers record buy, would you believe, at just £130,000. Here's Burrows. Here's Redknapp. And now it's Houghton. And Saunders, defender slipped, recovered. Houghton again. McManaman in a great position here. The cross, he wasn't quite tall enough to reach it, even with the jump. Still McManaman. His better chance, no doubt, was when he was unmarked in the penalty area, but uh, he couldn't reach that one. When he did come inside Alexander, he tested Brian Parkin. Here's Reese to Pounder. Mihu. Pounder again. That's White. It was nearly to Mihu. It's to Carl Saunders, in fact. Good volley! Oh, yes! What a start for second division Bristol Rovers! And it's Carl Saunders again! And their supporters thrilled to bits. What a strike! This is a smashing finish. Waiting for the ball to bounce. Right foot volley. Grobelaar got his hands to it, perhaps. But it was right up in the top locker. And Carl Saunders, who equalised last week, gives Bristol Rovers the lead this week. His 15th goal of the season and he won't strike a sweeter one, surely. They're, they just can't believe it. One or two of the Rovers lads were calling this, as far as they were concerned, the game of a lifetime. I would imagine that uh, just at this very moment, Carl Saunders might think he scored the goal of a lifetime, but here's Dean Saunders at the other end. And that's not a bad effort either. And Parkin comes to the feet of Houghton. Dean Saunders trying to <laughs> match his namesake. They've been looking forward to this match so much, these Rovers lads. And they're enjoying it even more now, and so are their fans. And now it's Marsh. Rosenthal, oh, Saunders. It's all a little bit tip-tap, but this is McManaman now. And he's forced the corner. And that's Liverpool's first corner. Now, what can they make of it? Mark Wright taking up a far side position. And there is Wright. Oh, and hooked away by Alexander, I think, from nearly on the line, the right back. It was number two, Mark Wright's header, but I think you'll find this is Ian Alexander, the... Uh, Scotsman at right back who makes the clearance because Wright got a header in which was wide of Parkin. Yes, that's a good clearance. That's what they're on the post for. That's wide on the right now to Jones. Redknapp's header, but not going 
close enough for Liverpool. Burrows. Header out by Alexander. Burrows again. Three waiting for a cross. Pulled back though. It's Houghton. All oh, deflection. Corner. Well, Houghton has engineered a goal or two from those positions this season. You'll see here that he's shot clips of Bristol Rovers player. And that sends it header, really, wide of the goal. Houghton coming in with Mihu. And it's going to be retrieved by Redknapp. Four waiting in a line for Liverpool. Header out was by Devon White. This is McManaman. Now he's opened up a little bit here. McManaman shot! Oh, didn't he open them up? Beautifully struck. And the cop now voiced their relief. And Steve McManaman hits a goal that in its way was every bit as good as Carl Saunders. He comes across Reese, left foot, going away from the keeper, right in the corner. He scored in the third round at Crewe, but he gets one here that's far more important on the night. It's put Liverpool back in business in this FA Cup replay. Steve McManaman, whose birthday it is today, 20 years old, what better way to celebrate? He's given them a present. That should restore some order to the Liverpool style of play. Mark Wright, McManaman. Round the back of them. Goodness me. Off Alexander in the end. But McManaman now on the other wing, playing now at the uh, start of the second half on the right, has suddenly become a danger to Rovers. And Saunders, and pull back, Saunders! Yes, he's got it, no he hasn't! Oh, what a chance. It was always on for Dean Saunders here. McManaman didn't make it, and it looked as though it was in from uh, <laughs> our side of the ground, but it went the wrong side of the post. Well, we have a good cup tie on our hands now. Came off Clark, Redknapp following up. This is McManaman. Still McManaman. Brilliantly done by McManaman. And away as Ian Rush waited to pounce. It was Yates, I think. That got the ball out. It was a great run by McManaman. This is McManaman. Saunders waiting, Rush waiting. There's Rush, he took it away from Burrows, who was coming in behind him. Couldn't have heard the shout if there was one. Burrows was at full pelt coming in for the header. But Rovers have made a presence of the ball back to uh, Liverpool here. And... Vice versa. Oh, and it's Dean Saunders. Missed it. Would you believe it? Boothroyd, the substitute, will be so relieved because there were three bad passes in quick succession there and Dennis Rhodes' team nearly committed Harry Carey in front of the cop and the Liverpool top scorer put it wide. Pounder. Free kick. Carl Saunders was fouled by uh, Burrows. Well, there are some legs in this cup tie yet, you know, because Rovers haven't buckled, and they're sending Billy Clark up again for the free kick. There's Carl Saunders, this is White, Devin White. Shot struck Mark right, and it fell nicely for Liverpool. McManaman rushed to his left, Saunders further over. Can he take him on on the inside? He does. Still McManaman, great run, it's Saunders, and this time the finish is short, and Dean Saunders, with his 20th goal of the season, beats Brian Parkin, and as soon as comes off the bench, you feel that maybe the resistance and resilience of this gallant Bristol Rovers side may have been broken. If it has, the man who's done it is McManaman again. Lovely run, opened it right up. But that's a drilled shot inside the near post by Dean Saunders, making up for his earlier miss.
and Liverpool will go to Ipswich on Sunday in the fifth round. Steve McManaman, on his 20th birthday, turned the game after an uneasy first half. Bristol Rovers will be remembered, as will Carl Saunders, for their contribution to the FA Cup this season. They lost 2-1, but put up a great fight. It's Liverpool who go to Ipswich.